Welcome to this exclusive 360 tour of the NASA Parker Solar Probe, a mission to touch the Sun. Here is the Delta IV Heavy Rocket, one of the largest rockets operating in the world. It's manufactured and operated by United Launch Alliance, a space company partnership. It's not often NASA missions use this rocket, as it's usually favored by the Air Force and the National Reconnaissance Office. In this shot, the rocket assembly tower is being retracted from the launch pad. Tonight, you'll witness and experience this rocket to blast away the spacecraft on its epic journey to the Sun. At the John F. Kennedy Space Center, in the Astrotech spacecraft factory, the finished solar probe is about to be encapsulated in the rocket cover, called a fairing. These two aluminum steel halves will protect the spacecraft from aerodynamic forces during launch that will otherwise damage the probe. You also may notice that the 50 workers are wearing full protective clothing to prevent any biological contaminants from potentially causing issues with delicate systems. An overhead crane carries the fairing onto the launch dome structure, which itself is 5 meters or 15.5 feet in diameter. This section will be mounted on top of the rocket. This heavy rocket is designed to launch payloads the size of school buses, but we need to travel light because it's ironically hard to get to the sun. The Parker spacecraft has a mass of 685 kilograms, a pretty light load of what the rocket is normally capable of carrying 25 tons into low Earth orbit. Many people don't know is that the Earth orbits the Sun at a velocity of 29,000 meters per second, and it's very hard to cancel out that velocity using current technology. But there's a trick that we'll get to later. Ever wondered why it won't melt? The Parker Solar Probe is manufactured from steel, and most of all, it's protected with a reinforced carbon-carbon heat shield that can withstand radiation temperatures that can exceed 1500 degrees and yet maintain the component's temperature of just 30 degrees. In addition, NASA and the probe contractor, the John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory Complex, have installed radiator panels that remove excess heat into space. The Parker Solar Probe will coast through the extremely low density, but 2 million degree temperatures, of the solar plasma, which is called the corona. The probe's perigee will be 6 million kilometers away from the Sun, but that's considered to be pretty close in space standards. Its mission will unlock the mysteries of space weather and solar activity that scientists around the world are begging to solve. It's dark now, and we're back on the launch pad at the Space Launch Complex 37, 7 miles south of Kennedy Space Center. The beautiful Delta IV heavy rocket is illuminated in its glory with eight massive spotlights. The three huge boosters, each carrying over 210 tons of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, a cryogenic second stage, and even a third stage, will catapult Parker to an absolutely incredible 15,127.8 meters per second. Thoughts of flipping 9.4 miles per second at spacecraft separation, a new world record for the fastest speed by a manned spacecraft, provided by rocket power. 10, 9, nine enter start. 8, 7, go for main, six, main, go for main enter and start. Start. Zero. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. That was awesome, why don't we watch it again, from another angle?
Remember that velocity trick I mentioned earlier? The probe will be making several special maneuvers, with the planet Venus, in what is known as a gravity assist. Over a period of five years, Parker will slingshot repeatedly by the planet, when its orbit crosses, stealing orbital energy, and traveling faster, dropping its orbit, and getting closer. It's now Christmas Eve, 2024. The probe will make its closest approach to the Sun, speeding at an incredible velocity of 200 km per second, and constantly sending back valuable data, to NASA Mission Control, and exciting researchers and scientists all over the world. Named in honor of Eugene Parker, the man who discovered the solar wind. Now in his 90s, he continues to inspire lots of astronomical researches worldwide and has won multiple awards, and marks the first time a NASA mission was named after a living man. His legacy and mission will continue, to help us understand the mysteries of the solar weather, predict incoming solar flares, so we can prepare and survive, and most of all, unlock the true reason why the Sun's atmosphere, is hotter than its surface, in over 30 years. Thank you for watching, and for more information, Check out the mission's website, on nasa.gov.